Dr. Paul Cotter. I specialize in hair restoration surgery and have been doing so for over 22 years. Uh, my main office is in Toronto, Canada, as well as having an office in New York City for consultations. I am the past president of the International Society of Hair Restoration Surgery, as well as being board certified by the American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery, of which I also served on that board, as well as being an examiner. The video you are about to see is with regards to James, a previous patient of mine who, at the age of 26, five years ago, had one transplantation procedure to his frontal hairline. He had very early thinning at that point and only really needed a small session of about 1,100 follicular units densely packed in that zone. Now, about five years later, he's come back for a touch-up and you'll be seeing further video on James coming up. Following here are some digital photos of James when I first saw him five years ago when he came in to have his first surgery. At the time of surgery, I drew on a hairline again with this black grease pencil. Now the hairline may look rather abrupt, straight and so on. This is more for a location to show you that we wouldn't be starting the hairline down here because even if James wanted a hairline down there, that would be too low. And you still need to recreate some degree of the recessions in the corners. So this is an example of, of the hairline just before the procedure. This is a profile from the right side with the hair pulled back. Again, James was uh, only 26 years of age at that stage and we've drawn on a hairline. This, this corner will be blunted to some degree, but really his main area of concern was just this little zone here. And so he's a very good patient for transplantation. He's got medium coarse reddish auburn hair with pale skin, so it's a minimal contrast, which is very nice. It's very dense hair, uh, very nice texture, so he'll do very well with transplantation. But it is very important in this patient for him to understand that if we are starting in this zone here, if he does have future thinning, he will need more surgeries. So that is certainly a limitation if you haven't warned the patient. Now again, his family history may be such that he won't have a lot more thinning, but you just don't know at 26 years of age how much more thinning he will have. James also is, is very diligent. Um, he's on finasteride as well as minoxidil. Um, so those are all things which have helped to maintain his hair further back for a longer period of time. And here he is from the left profile showing the hairline. Again, an abrupt hairline. We don't put the grafts in at that. Uh, and that's such a straight line, but that's again more for location. And so this is the area of concern showing you from the left profile. James, you had a procedure five years ago, is that right? I did. And now, uh, five years later, you've come in and you're thinking of having another touch-up to the area. Yep. So this is a good example um, of doing small sessions in younger fellows who really want to update the recessions. And as long as they know that if they will have more thinning through here, they may need more sessions, we can certainly add to these small areas. And if we pull up the hair, we can show the camera the hairline from the first session. And so this is, you saw the before photos, and when I pull the hair back, this is all newly transplanted hair in through here. And so it wasn't a large session, but it was enough to give him a bit more of a youthful hairline. It's blending in very well. It's important to see there's little ins and outs. There's a pseudo widow's peak. The hairs come out with the regular one hair grafts, and then some ones and twos as we go further back to give a very nice feathered, graded, graded look that's not abrupt. But for James, he's a very particular patient, and he would like to add a little bit more fullness into these recessions because he has lost a little bit more of the pre-existing hair in these regions. So that is what we will be doing later on this week uh, with James. What I'm showing here is the donor zone from James five years ago when he came in for his first session. There's a linear scar right along here and this is healed beautifully. As I pull up the hair, try to find the scar. Right there. So the next session James will have, we will utilize the same incision line so that he will, again, just have one very small scar. So this is a good example of strip excision, taking out an ellipse, closing the skin edges using sutures, which are removed in one week, and this is now five years later when James has come in to have a touch-up at the front.